Lots of ingredients in today's soup. Paper dolls, photo collage, dimensional banners, and a military shadow box. All mixed up into our scrapbook soup. Today's scrapbook soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America, SakuraofAmerica.com. Thanks for joining us on Scrapbook Soup, where we mix up all of our favorite techniques and supplies. And today we've got a bunch of techniques to show you. And right now, Christine Mark joins us from Elmer's, and we're going to show techniques for making this paper doll. Christina, everybody loves paper dolls, and this one is personalized, even if it is a vintage face, but it is so adorable. It is adorable. So let's start out with the template. So we've traced out the paper doll pattern we're laying that right on top of the foam board and we're gonna trace that out. Okay, and the pattern is going to be on the website for our viewers. It will, absolutely. So I've already done that here. The next step would be to take the card stock and we're actually gonna glue this pattern right on here. Okay. And we're gonna use the glue stick for that. Now we'll actually cut two of these out because this is actually doubled. Absolutely, you're exactly right. We're just going to do one for right now. There we go, so we're gonna add that glue and we'll put that on here. And I've actually done this already. Okay, go. well we'll set I'll that aside it can, because this can be uh, for another paper doll later Absolutely. on, right? Absolutely, <laughs> so here it is. Mm -hmm. And we need to cut this out. So I'm actually gonna ask if you could do oh, that okay. for me, would be All wonderful. Right. I'll do that and you're going to work Great. on something else, I I'm think, I'm gonna right? work <laughs> on some of these fun <laughs> embellishments, absolutely. So part of it, we're gonna do the pleating. We're gonna take the cardstock here and what we wanna do is use the metal ruler and we're just gonna lightly score these with the craft knife in one inch increments. So I'll go ahead and show a couple here. You just wanna lightly score these. Okay. And you're using Great. the uh, measuring guides on the mat, I, I see. Am, which that makes, makes it nice and easy. It does, it makes it very easy. So you can see I've actually done that right here where we've done all the pleating. Okay, I think Perfect. that is going to work That for looks us. beautiful. Okay, let you know what. There we go. We've got it. Great, thank you. So now what we're going to do, since we have the pleat here, is use a permanent tape. I'm going to just take a piece of that off, peel the backing. And this is a double-sided tape? This is a double-sided tape, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my fingers are a little... Okay. If Maybe if we just put it down on the paper first. Absolutely, Christine, and then we'll peel that. that yeah, we'll we just go ahead and do that. And you want to have this first pleat about, leave about a half an inch from the bottom. And so there we go. going to come right Great. up. You got it. Absolutely. So then we can go okay. ahead and put this down. We want to do that more. Thank and just kind you. of pleat as we, as we go. Yes. Now That's the beautiful. scoring made it really, really easy to fold. I like that technique. And, okay, so there we're, we're just going to press it down. Now, it's not, not quite as perfect as that's, you might want it to be. That's but. okay. We've actually done that with another piece, so we put the adhesive tape on the back. Okay. I'm going to pull off the backing, and we're going to apply that right above. So we'll do that right here. Which looks beautiful. Very, very cute. And you know great. what? I'm actually going to snip these ends off. That'd be great. Christina, there we go. Great. And then it's, she's ready for you to add okay, some ribbon. Okay, add some more ribbon. So we're going to cut these pieces of ribbon, um, and we've done that already here. So what we'll do is just take our spots of glue, and we're gonna put a couple pieces on. 
on the just on end. each end. And that on works so end. great with uh, with fabric. It's a very aggressive adhesive. It's very aggressive. And so it works well with a lot of different materials. Great. And I love projects like this because we're using so many different things and it's always important to have the right glue for the right kind of material that you're working That's with. That's right. So what we're going to do is just put this on top and I'll press, and it press down, down for you. right? And then we just wrap that around the back. And we've got those great spots of glue on there. Very, very cute. Beautiful. We're also going to create the top embellishment. So okay. we'll do the same thing there. Take a couple spots of the glue. And we'll wrap that around the midsection. Okay. Like that is really cute. You know what? Let's bring in our model, Let's Christina, and just put it up against. And then maybe we can go ahead and add this little ruffle we've got right here. Awesome. And then I'm going to use a get a really big glue spot for you to put the button on. Because Great. I know we need something with a lot of extra strength. We do. And then, whoops, where did so it So for go? this ruffling, what we did was we did use a circle cutter and cut that out and scored a little bit here as well so that we could create this nice ruffling effect. Okay. And so for this, we're going to go ahead and use our um, glue pen. Okay. And we'll put a little bit of that on right here. And you know what? You add the ruffle and I'll add the cupcake button. Great. There we go. Yeah. And there goes the button. Now remember we said we had cut a second piece. We have. And so what we did with that, uh, we just added the craft sticks for arms and legs and our right. head. Yes. And we're going to use some adhesive on here. And we'll add some of that. Okay. We're going to put it on the wood we also. We are going to put it on the wood because it's great for that as well. It's nice when you have a, an adhesive that uses that you can use for multiple surfaces. Absolutely. Okay. So, and then we'd add buttons for her feet mm -hmm. at the bottom with some spots of glue. Yes. And I think she's adorable. Absolutely. Christina, thank you so much. Oh, and flowers. Let's not forget our beautiful flowers and instructions for those will be on the website. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm here with Kathy Cromer from Michaels and she's got a wonderful whimsical a collage project for us today. So let's take a look at it over there, Kathy. Yeah. I can see that you have uh, made a little duck person or something like that. I did. I just took a little photo and decided instead of being so serious that we would just have a little fun with it. and. Um, I decided I wanted her to be a duck. Well, tell us how to do it. All right. I just took my photo, original mm -hmm. photo, and made a copy. Mm -hmm. And then I have my little copy right here. So I'm going to, I really just want her head. And you trimmed, I noticed you trimmed around the entire figure. I did. So I just, I'm going to trim around her little hair right here. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, one of those things to do where I see you don't have to be precise and like go up between the bangs or anything like no, that. No, it's just real general and you're just going to have some fun with it. Yeah. So now you're just cutting around the silhouette of her face. Right. I'm going to cut all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you how I used her arm mm -hmm. for her neck. Oh, cool. Does it matter whether it's a toner copy or could you print out an inkjet? You could do an inkjet for this part. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the end, use a toner base when we start okay. to use the gel medium. But this is just kind of about placing and making copies, uh, different versions. Okay, so now you're cutting out part of her arm. All right. So we're just going to use her little neck mm -hmm. like this. I'll do it this way. I see that. And so her arm becomes her neck. It's kind of a Frankenstein or a yes, plastic surgery it moment. It was, it was. There you go. And then I had, took a little template of a duck body, mm -hmm. just real whimsical, nothing perfect. Okay. And just put it right here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And this one we've added a little crown in the same manner with scrapbook paper. I've taken a black marker and outlined her body here and made mm -hmm. her some funny little legs. That just gives a nice definition against the background. I it like does. it. And it's kind of fun and whimsical. Then we'll just kind of color in a little hair. And mm -hmm. it could be whatever you want it to be. And certainly just simple. You don't really have to know how to draw. You're just having fun. It's really kind of about doodling like when you mm -hmm. were a child. I think your children would enjoy doing Thank decorating you. their own page too. And here's one where we took the, the original and we mm -hmm. took it and made a toner-based copy. 
Okay. All right. And, you and can, the reason for toner is because when you use the gel medium, the toner base will not run. Okay. So it that's won't important. Smear. It's very that's important. important. Right. Thank you. So we have this cradle. This is kind of how it starts. It's an artist's cradle. Mm -hmm. And we painted it with black gesso. And we're going to just gel medium this one down. Okay. And um, black gesso is a primer, right? And it's very matte. It's not shiny at all. It which comes is nice. in different things. You mm -hmm. can get it shiny and oh, high really? gloss. I didn't you, know that. That's cool. Or you can get it in matte. Um, mm -hmm. It comes in different things. So we're just going to smear that on there pretty good. It looks kind of messy, but it'll fold back out. And, and of course, the gel medium dries clear, so it yes. doesn't matter if it's there because you won't see it when it dries. Right. So we're just going to. Smear that on there. Okay, I'm going to turn this this way. Cool. And you're putting that other layer on top to sort of seal it in. Yes, just generously and then smooth it out. Mm -hmm. And it will dry clear. What are the secrets to getting the wrinkles out of the paper when you're doing something like this? Number one is to coat the back of the paper. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a thick cardstock, then I would take a water spritzer bottle and spritz your paper mm -hmm. and then apply it with the gel medium. And that helps it absorb the glue. Um, and if you see a, a, a wrinkle, go ahead and get it out now because later, later it's almost hard. impossible. But you can, after it dries, go ahead and um, take an X-Acto knife if you have one and slice it and then push mm. a little gel medium up under there. You just have to wait till it dries because the paper's tender. I'm going to have to try that. Okay, so we do that. Mm -hmm. And we have some little words here. Um, I altered this little song. Okay. So we just cut them out. Okay. Song lyrics are a great way when you can't find the words that you want to say. Yeah. So this is about a little duck with a tear on her head. And she hmm. goes down to the water with quack, quack, quack. Mm -hmm. So I've just cut these out. And you're not doing anything, Zach, or worrying about a paper trimmer. You're just having no. fun with your scissors. Yeah. It's just a real simple little fun project. I think your kids would love to get involved with this, too. I agree. Who wouldn't want to make themselves into something fabulous? They could be a dinosaur. <laughs> I can totally see <laughs> that. <laughs> and so you just keep mm -hmm. on adding this. So it's the same process that you did with the cutout. And again, I assume this is a toner copy. Yes. And you just repeat the process. Mm -hmm. And when she's all dry, then you go back and add glitter glue. Ooh, like this one right here. Something shiny. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So you have decorated the figure and the frame with some glitter glue. And I added a little bit of paint here. Not much, just mm -hmm. to kind of look like it, you colored a little bit. And then your glue is always, your glitter glue is the last step. It's totally adorable. And, and I know that you brought some samples with you where she doesn't necessarily have to be a duck. She doesn't. She could be a little angel mm -hmm. or whatever you choose. A bunny. Very fun. The angel's cute. And I, and I know you brought some things that are slightly less whimsical, a little more on the artistic yes. end. Yes. yes, and it's the same principle. Mm -hmm. We just took the photo, cut it out, colored, made copies. Uh, and the good thing to remember about this is to make a copy, you can always take this copy and stick it mm -hmm. on a gift bag or a greeting card. Yes, definitely. It's, and it's beautiful, and it's easy to reuse your art that way. Thank you so much, Kathy. You're welcome. Thank you. For a wonderful you. project. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Hi, I'm here with Juliana Hudgens from Spellbinders, and she has a wonderful banner project to tell, to show us about. And banners are <laughs> such a popular motif these days. Oh, they're really, you know, there's so many different things that you could do. Mm -hmm. And when you use your die cutting machine and your dies, it makes it just as much fun and so quick. And easy. And super easy. I love that. I know. And I love the love. <laughs> Me too. But you can certainly do it for any occasion. So take it away. Tell us how we do this. All right. Well, to get started, we're going to use our die cutting mm -hmm. machine. And I'm just going to secure that down to the surface here. Oh, it has like yep, some sort of little, suction? Yeah. So it just sucks right down. Uh, and then I'm going to build my sandwich. Okay. So I have a plate right here, mm -hmm. and I have the die. Mm -hmm. Now you want to make sure that that, that is edge such a thin die. Isn't that really super yeah, thin? Easy to store. And so there's a flat side to mm -hmm. it, but then there's a side that has an edge. So okay. that edge is going to go face up to the ceiling, mm -hmm. and then your paper covers that. Okay. And I'm actually going to cut two at a time. I like a girl who <laughs> multitasks. That's right. And then you just want to make sure that the paper is covered over okay. the die. We're going to then take the cutting mm -hmm. plates. And I can see that they're all marked so it's easy for you to figure out what goes where. I really like that because, you know, 
sometimes you forget. You need some instructions. <laughs> so I'm going to insert that into the die okay. cutting machine and then I'm just going to roll. Okay, easy as pie. Easy, easy. And what is happening? <laughs> And I, and I like that the die cut machine matches the set. <gasps> important Ooh, for a girl to coordinate. It's so important. <laughs> Clothes, machine. I know. Very, very Your makeup, fun. it all goes together. <laughs> all right, so then I'm going to open that up very carefully. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Let's and we keep have those the guys big down. reveal. Yes, that's so exciting. I always like that moment of anticipation. Yes. All right, so Ooh. there's our pieces. Okay. And I'm just going to put this one back in here because mm -hmm. we are going to create the second part of our magic, which is actually the embossing part. Ah. So I really love an embossed look to mm -hmm. a die because it's, it gives it that finished look. Yeah, I always feel like it adds that dimension, that depth. Yes. Especially when you see it in real life and you just feel like it's more than paper. Right. So. Embossing pad. Okay. And then I'm going to take the embossing plates, mm -hmm. the new sandwich. Some more pink. Some more pink. Insert that into the die cutting machine and roll. Okay. And what is happening is we are embossing. Very simple, mm -hmm. very easy. You don't have to adjust the machine at all. Don't have to do anything. I just changed my plates. Okay. Makes it easy to remember. That's right. And it's all color coordinated, so that's very cool. And as you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. it actually says embossing. So you plates. know exactly what to do. So we're going to take that off. Mm -hmm. And another, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow, it really does add a lot Isn't of depth there. Isn't that so cool? That is super cool. And I know you have some that are already cut, so we can just, I'll take this away for you. So we'll take that away. And then mm -hmm. what we're going to do is to start to build our sandwich. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to take the tape runner over here, mm -hmm. and we're just doing a little, little tape, a little bit of and then we there. would layer that on top oh, of they each fit other. Perfectly inside perfectly. each other. Right, because That's all of nice. these dies are nested, so they're made to you know lay on top of each right, other right, and right. have that really cool finished look that we all love. Yeah, no, I've had the thing with the punches where you can't quite figure out the size to fit inside and how big it should be. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is really fun because mm -hmm. I love also taking scraps. Mm -hmm. I'm a really big recycler. So this is actually a one inch wide by 12 inch long piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And then what I did is every half an inch I created a score. Okay. And then I just scrunched that together. Mm -hmm. And then you would, at the end, you would just use a little glue mm -hmm. and if adhere those that. ends together. Right. And then here's the secret. Okay. So first, let's see, we're going to take a glue dot. Okay. Put that in the center. Mm -hmm. And when you have this, you're just going to pinch, mm -hmm. bow down, Ooh. very carefully pick it up, put it and onto that pre-cut circle, and then you have your little like wow. pinwheel. Isn't that fun? That is. That's adorable. So then I would just start to build the rest okay. of my banner. Definitely. That's gorgeous. And you could certainly embellish with more oh, glitter, with goodness. glitter glue. You could do anything that you wanted. You could change Doodling. the colors. Yeah, you change yeah. the palette. And I, I know that you have one here that uses the same um, banner templates, basically, yes. but it's totally different colors, and it has that lovely, intricate border across the top. That's Well, and then look at the baby pendant. Yeah, uh, you know, so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. They, yeah. Like I said, they all nest. Mm -hmm. So you can have small ones, you can have large ones. I do all kinds of fun things. And with even doodling. speaking of small ones, mm -hmm. I see that you also brought some cards and a yes. layout that have those smaller ones. And I can certainly imagine how much you can do with it. And I know you also brought um, this layout that we have up here this that has non-traditional material. You cut up some jeans, it looks like. Right, so you can take a fabric and just have fun. This was fantastic, Juliana. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Genealogy is such a hot topic these days, and Kathy Peterson joins us from FlipPal Mobile Scanner, and she has brought this uniform, uh, the military shadow box mm -hmm. that you made, and it's all about your father or your grandfather? My father, your father, who was in the Korean War as a Marine, and it's all about genealogy. And you've got old photos in there, Tons. and medals, and ribbons. Absolutely. Okay, but now how did you do that? Well, I used this mobile scanner, and it's really, really easy to do. All you do is you turn it on, and this little screen lights up. Uh -huh. which makes it really easy, tells you that it's on, tells your battery power is good to go and everything else. So it's else. a battery. I didn't see a cord. Yeah, so it's nice. cordless. It's, it's you mobile. You can throw it in your purse. It's very lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's good to go anywhere. You can take this anywhere and you'll be scanning your heart out, trust me. <laughs> I'm sure I will. <laughs> so we have tons and tons of family photos. Mm -hmm. This is a loose photo. Now I could typically just open up the, the lid and set the family photo on here. 
and set that down. And I'm going to hit the green scan button. And what's fun about this is that, is that this scan will show up mm -hmm. and I can see if you I've done it. You can see the progress. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. It scans in color, scans in black and white, whatever you want to do. Now what's the fun part about this is, is that you can, um, you don't even have to wait for the, the scan to retract. So you can uh, scan 3D objects. So these are my father's medals from the war. He was mm -hmm. wounded. And I'm just going to lay these down flat. And I'm just going to take a soft cloth, dark one preferably, mm -hmm. lay that on top of here like so, hit my green scan button. And you can scan 3D and I get, also. Yes, absolutely. So I get one of these scans like this. I can cut it out now. I can share it with my brother because there's two of us right. and only one of these medals. Only one medal, that's right. <laughs> so and Dad's going to get the real stuff and we're going to get the scan. Right. And there's thing. no fighting. No fighting at all, <laughs> none whatsoever. So there you see, and you can see the quality that you get. The dimension really does pop mm -hmm. out a lot. Now another great thing about the mobile scanner is that how many relatives do you have that yes. just won't let go of their family mm -hmm. photographs. Right. So I'll give you this real quick. Okay. And this is my father's very old, old, <laughs> dilapidated. Oh, it is. The yes. pictures are brittle and his military photos are back here yeah. in the back. Now what I can do is I can take the scanner and I can flip it over. So you're taking the scanner to the project to the rather project. than having to It could be on the wall. And, it could yeah, be a photograph anywhere. or a portrait on the wall. I'm going to hit my scan button. I can see through here so I can line up my images. Hit the scan button. And you can see that the scanner is going through. It just lays right it on top. It just lays right on mm -hmm. top. You don't, hands free. Right. Totally hands yeah. free. You know, I have photos in albums and they're stuck in there because yeah. there's like a sticky grid on them. But you can them. damage them and you and remove you can't them. And you can't take them off. They're this so is brittle. perfect and again, for that. Flip it over and you have the okay. images that you scanned. Now what are all these buttons that okay. you have there on the side? Well, you can hit this center button here mm -hmm. and it will show me what I just recently scanned. Mm -hmm. All these images that we scanned, the, the, um, so all these images. So they're all in there on the SD card. Exactly. And it comes with an SD card here on the side mm -hmm. and it just pops right out. If you don't have an SD slot in your computer, this is totally cordless. You do not have to plug this into your computer. Okay. You can take the SD and stick it into your SD slot onto your computer or put it in this the USB, USB adapter uh, mm -hmm. and stick it in that way. Now all the software is on this card. All the software. Oh, so nice. you don't have to have any expensive uh -huh. programs. You know how expensive that can be. Yes, I do. And all this comes together. So it that's comes just perfect. All Kathy. together, batteries and everything included. And what also is fun about this is that you can size your images, mm -hmm. uh, original size, or you can do them two up. So if you're doing multiple pat, uh, projects, you can mm -hmm. do two at a time. Or if you want something larger, you can do a larger And all image. that's done through the all, software that's on the, the computer. Software. Now, what about the resolution? Well, that's another good question. You just click right here, and you just arrow down. And you, you can probably see the, the mm -hmm. yellow square right there. It says 300 DPI and 600 DPI. Mm -hmm. Well, we can choose either 600 or 300. I'm going to choose 300 and hit the center button and then arrow down. Now this is a timer. This is really cool for busy moms <laughs> and busy <laughs> and working girls. Of, yes, <laughs> and busy grandmothers. The do yes, absolutely. <laughs> the doorbell rings, the phone rings. You're, you're doing your, your craft project, your scan project, mm -hmm. and you forget, you leave the, your scanner on. Well, this is gonna automatically turn it off for you. So you have an option of one minute, two minutes, or 10 minutes. And I'm gonna do 10 minutes and I'm good to go. Well, Kathy, let's take a quick look at the shadow box. Absolutely. Well, I've scanned a photograph of my dad from the Marines, um, used an epoxy sticker, used some of the original medals that I had two of, and then I scanned the, the um, Purple Heart and the other medal, and just they were, they're just paper scans. It's a wonder, they look wonderful, wonderful memory, and Kathy. And just a few it's other awesome. pieces. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Well, trade shows are a great place for finding all sorts of new, fun supplies. And Julie's got a fabulous find for us. Yeah, I have. You know, mixed media is very popular. And so we have canvas albums, mm -hmm. okay, that you can put your pages in and you heat it and you have a great album. But you know what? I fell in love with this. My husband was in the military. And these are 
albums, and they're actually covered with a real military uniform. Really? There's one for every branch of the mm -hmm. service. It, they can be personalized. Right. And there's also matching papers. Oh. Look, here we've got photographs in here. And here's just a couple of samples of the matching papers that come with the albums. Very cool. Let me close this for I just like a that second. they even have like the t-shirt in here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And it, I mean, it feels like it's a real t-shirt. Well, it is. It's, it's real uniform. Really now, they've cool. been specially made just to cover these albums because a real uniform really would be too big. Mm -hmm. But it's even got the emblems on the collars, look. That's from the uh, Marines, the U.S. Marines. There's one for the U.S. Okay. Air Force. I like the Navy one. And the Navy that, one. That's Isn't very that, cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm just, the way they got the um, lapels in there for mm -hmm. the... Yep. Navy yep. D, very cool. I just love that look. And then, of course, eventually they will be adding more and more, she told me. They've been really? very, very popular. So anybody, if you know anybody who's in the military, what a wonderful I've gift. I've seen on a lot of blogs, I read a lot of blogs of women whose husbands are in the military yeah. or who they themselves are in the military. Mm -hmm. And this is a nice way to really celebrate your military history because I know there's all sorts of events. Mm -hmm. And, of course, everybody's so proud of their military yes, spouse and stuff like that, which is also really cool. And people who've retired, I mean... What a wonderful gift to give to someone who's retired to remember their days and I their have, friends. I have to tell you, I said, well, I need to do one for my husband. He was mm -hmm. in the Air Force. She says, well, when was he in the Air Force? So I told her, and she says, oh, we're not doing vintage uniforms <laughs> yet. <laughs> and that's our show. Join us again next week for more great scrapbooking, paper crafting, and mixed media ideas. Visit ScrapbookSoupTV.com for a mix of ideas, a mix of ingredients, a mix of designers, and all of the instructions for every project found on this series of Scrapbook Soup. Create your own recipe for great scrapbooking. This is Show 102. A complete set of all 13 episodes of Scrapbook Soup Series 100 is available for $39.99 plus shipping and handling. A mix of designers, techniques, and projects, all in one complete package to watch anytime. Visit ScrapbookSoupTV.com to place your order. Today's Scrapbook Soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America, sakuraofamerica.com.